This is Tipperian's tutorial on Robocode. In this tutorial we're going to look at a new robot that we've created especially for this tutorial series. This robot is in the Schoolbots folder, in other words Schoolbots package, and it's called BattleBot. We are going to put this robot up against track fire and see how it behaves. So we click on Start Battle. So track fire is tracking BattleBot, but however BattleBot is doing quite a bit of moving around. BattleBot has worked itself into a corner and has been destroyed. So in this example, in this battle, it's moving around a bit more and is firing and again it is taking a lot of hits. In the final example, BattleBot against track fire is moving around, taking some hits and doing some damage. However, it is still in some respects quite slow. In this case, BattleBot has won that round. However, TrackFire was the overall winner. Let's have a look at the code and compare it to TrackFire from our previous tutorial. So in Robot, we select Editor, File, Open, and again, this Schoolbots is available to you, so you need to just make sure the Schoolbots folder is in a subfolder of Robots, and you open up BattleBot. Let's have a look at the code. And what does BattleBot do? Well, we set it up with temporary colors, yellow, blue, yellow, and it just keeps on turning the gun right 360 degrees the whole time. If it detects a robot, it uses the bearing and the heading, it, adds the bear, it uses the bearing as the heading and subtracts the get radar heading to try and determine the amount to turn the gun. It also uses the get distance method and supplies that to a variable called range. So we've declared range here to be of type double, and we've declared a, ver a variable called bearing as well. If the range is greater than 400, we turn the whole tank by using the turn right command towards the target. We move ahead to our current range, less 200. So if our range was 600, for example, we would move ahead 400 to come within 200 pixels of our target. If our gun if the amount we have to turn our gun is less than 180 degrees, we turn our gun right. And then we face it, we fire off two, and then we turn left, 45 degrees. If it's greater than 180, we actually turn left. And the amount we turn left is 360 minus the turn amount. We turn our gun left, and we turn right, and then we move ahead. So it does a quite a lot of moving about. It is, however, a very basic robot, and its targeting could possibly be improved. If it hits the wall, it actually looks at its bearing and figures out whether if it's less than if it's greater than zero to turn left and if its bearing is uh, less than zero it turns right if it's hit by a bullet it's quite aggressive it turns towards the target either turning right or left depending on the amount it has to turn and fires back and then moves away there are two little functions here supplied as well called absolute angle to help us calculate our angle and relative angle and both of these are used as part of this program. So even though it's not a, a fantastic robot it has potential to be improved it has the ability to be mobile and to react to certain conditions like hitting the wall and being hit. Again you can take something like this and improve upon it what we'll just finally do now is we'll say compile. This is compiled successfully. We'll go back into our Robocode here, back into battle. We'll select BattleBot, track fire. We might put in as well okay, another robot that has been developed. It's part of Robocode called Turn and Run. And we'll create a melee. And we'll add in one more robot from sample and we'll add in target. 
and we'll run off a melee battle, which is what Schoolbot is all about, which is having more than typically two tanks in a battle at once. And we see what happens. So here we see Battlebot, and this is distinctive colours up at the top, moving around. Track fire is annihilating target. Turn and run is moving around, doing some of the scanning and firing off shots. Turn and run is a relatively advanced robot which we would which we have developed to actually fire very large shots if the device doesn't move or the tank doesn't move and fire smaller shots if it's a mobile target. We do not include the code for turn and run however but some of the strategy is to use things like determining the velocity of your enemy and if your enemy is sitting still to fire a large bullet if your enemy is not to sit sitting still to fire a smaller bullet. Turn and run also has some sophisticated algorithms with regards to if it actually is hit maybe not to fight back but maybe instead to turn to face the enemy and then let a different routine take over. As the name suggests, turn and run does a lot of turning and a lot of running and has just won that battle. Again, in this battle, track fire is tracking target and his sole mission is to destroy it. Battlebot, however, got in the way and now track fire is focusing on Battlebot. Turn and run is on tour. Again, fired a very large shot at target which has destroyed it. Now focused on track and fires into a very large shot again because we know that its velocity is zero. And now again turn and run or is up against Battlebot. What is useful to notice about these type of battles is, in a melee situation, being mobile is quite essential. Sitting still, like track and fire, might, have, might be nice from a targeting point of view, but from a survival point of view, with several t bots, it shortens your chances considerably of winning the game. So when you're developing your own school bot, think about targeting, think about mobility, and think about being selective or choosing your strategy depending on the type of target. Finally, turn and run looks like it's about to win this battle. It's at 100, while Battlebot's at 14. And it has won. And the results are first turn and run, won three rounds. Second was Battlebot, who came second three times. Third was Trackfire, who came third once, but actually amassed more points for shots and kills. And fourth was Target. And this is how we decide the winner of a melee situation. Essentially the most important thing with melee is to determine the winners based on who was eliminated and the overall winners based on who won the most rounds. This concludes the Tipperary Institute Robocoach.